What is going on everybody? Bert that speak here back again with another video. So today in this video we are going to be using some biology function that helps us uh, detect some images on the screen uh, as, as well as um, some cool features of biology. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you remember in the previous video what I did was I was pointing my cursor uh, uh, to get the position of the Windows button. So here today we are going to be using uh, another method. So for that we got to use uh, PyOdeGui that um, hotkey. So hotkey uh, is a function to to do uh, to to do hotkeys like Control C, Control V, uh, Windows R. Uh, we are going to be going to uh, the desktop. So for that we got to use Windows D. So we're gonna do Windows and D. So this should bring us to the to the desktop and we are going to be opening the calculator so basically what we're going to be doing is uh opening uh the calculator and then uh and then from here we are going to be uh taking screenshots of these buttons and then from these screenshots we are going to perform some operation to take a screenshot you just uh, use the snipping tool snipping tool in windows snipping tool in windows and then from here, you can click new and then uh, uh, take the size of, the, I mean, take a screenshot of the of the button. You can take four, you need to take it properly, otherwise it's not gonna work, okay? Uh, right here, I don't know why it got bigger like this, but uh, I'll just reset it. So my calculator is here and I'll reset it. I don't know why it got like this, because when I took it, it wasn't that large. So I'm gonna reset it, and now it should work properly if everything's right. Okay, cool. Calculator. Okay, this is the size of the screenshot I took. Okay, these buttons are not the same size as the previous one. So here, uh, we're gonna go to desktop, and then we're gonna press the Windows button. So we're gonna do pyodogui dot press win win button. So we press the Windows button. And then after that, we're gonna type um, PyTagree the right. We're gonna type our calculator. So after typing the calculator, we're gonna press enter. So we're gonna do PyTagree dot press dot press enter. So after you press enter, this should open the calculator. Okay. Now from there, we're gonna sleep for let's sleep for a second. So after sleeping for a second, uh, the next thing we're gonna need to do is. Uh, uh, detect the buttons we need to click on okay I already got mine saved over here I got I got minus I got nine I got one and I got seven okay so for you if you already if you took the screenshots and you save them in some type of folder you have to specify the whole path otherwise just place them in the same folder as the Python file and then from there you can just uh, do the same thing as I did so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Pyodogui dot um, to detect a button, you gotta do locate on screen. I mean, locate center on screen. So by using by using a locate center on screen, uh, basically the windows. I mean, the window of the the application you're gonna be working on is in the middle of the screen. Okay, I don't know exactly how, but when I when I place it to the side, it doesn't work. If someone knows why, just let me know in the comment section. So here, uh, part of the that look that locate center on screen, uh, we are going to get um, the button nine dot png. Got to put the extension. Uh, and let me just duplicate this. We got the the plus. Let's use plus, and we got seven. Okay. So here, this function. I mean, this function will help you. Um, to detect the buttons, but then if you detect them, you gotta click on them. So we're gonna to, to click. You gotta do pyoto with a click, click, and you click and you put this in parentheses. So we click on the button that's gonna be detected. So we do pyoto with a click. Same thing here, and here is where we do the same thing. Pyoto dot click. Right. Okay. So after we clicked on all the buttons, we need to press the button enter. I mean, we used to, we gotta press enter to get the result. So we gotta press enter. All right, so let me check this out to see if it works. 
Okay, you could have been too fast. You could have been too fast. Nope. What was that? Let me check this out. Uh, well, I need to slow it down from somewhere. Um, let me check this again. Yeah, it's happening fast. It's happening fast. I need to slow it down. So here, uh, we are going to be, um, after we type calculator, we're going to slip for half a second, 0.5. Then after hitting enter, we're going to wait. Then let's see if it detects, because it's very, it's very, uh, very picky. If it's, if you don't take the, the screenshots properly, it's not going to work. I'm not sure if mine, I take, I've, wait, what's going on here? We gotta sleep here. Point five. It open it opened my torrents. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, it seems like it's not working properly. So what we are gonna be using is the option confidence. Okay. So the confidence option. Uh, would be tolerant or help you be more versatile, okay, to see if uh, it's not going to be too too picking, okay, if it's kind of looking like, like the button is going to click on it. So let's try uh, the point 0.9. The point 0.9 is, uh, I tried point 0.9 and it worked kind of fine with me. So I hope it's going to work this time. Otherwise, it's going to be very, very difficult. Point 0.9 again here. I hope it works. Nine plus seven equals 16. Perfect, it works. Okay, that's cool. Now we got this. Okay, now uh, the next thing we're gonna be using is we're gonna use some other function. Um, wait. So we're done with that. So the next thing now we are going to be trying to use some interact, to try to create some interaction with with a user, for example, right? So uh, we're gonna do pi autogui dot alert. Okay, for those who did um, JavaScript, it's kind of the same thing. Okay, so now here we are going to be alerting that we are going to do uh, a screenshot. Like we're gonna take a screenshot of the entire screen, if that makes sense. So let's uh, let's inform the the user that we are going to uh, take a screenshot. Let's say a screenshot is about to get taken, okay? And now the title of the window is going to be, uh, let's say, information, okay? And we can keep it this way or we can specify what kind of message, uh, like normally if we keep it this way, the user is going to just click on OK. So it's going to show a screenshot is about to get taken and the user is going to click OK. But if you want it, you could also say, uh, okay, no problem or something, okay? But it doesn't really matter. We can keep it this way. So uh, the next thing is, whoa, what am I doing? So the next thing now we're going to do is um, prompt a message, okay? There's another option, prompt, okay? So for, for, point, for prompt, we're going to do pyautogui.prompt. So we're going to prompt a message to the... To the to the to the user, okay, and for that, the message we're gonna be prompting is gonna be, "Are you ready? Like, is he ready to take the screenshot?" And uh, the title of that window is gonna be, let's say, question, okay, okay. Uh, you could also, for example, here say it works the same. I mean, it's the same thing is valuable for the alert as well. So we could say here, this is a text, okay. You say text equals. And this is going to be title equals. Okay, it doesn't really matter. You can keep it this way, or you can just it works. It anyway, it works. Okay. So, um, is there anything else needed? So let's check this out. Shall we check this out? No, prompt is there's a T. There, yeah, there's a missing T over there. So now, um, okay, let's make it like if the user say yes, he's ready, then we can go ahead and take the screenshot. If he says no. Or if it clicks cancel, then we don't take the screenshot. So let's take the, because this is going to return the str whatever string the user is going to type. 
So let's say, uh, let's um, create a variable that we're gonna name uh, continue. So we're gonna name it count, count, not count, count. Uh, so now let's say if count equals, equals is this way, if count, count equals yes, then what do you wanna do? What, we, what are we gonna do if the user says he is ready to take the screenshot? So we are going to be asking him a password, okay? This just an example. I'm just giving you uh, some PyODegui um, functions. So let's say PyODegui uh, password. Now the password. They ask you what we're gonna ask him. We're gonna ask him to enter his password, okay? And then the title of the window is gonna be uh, let's say password and uh, the mask because we don't want it to be in plain text we're gonna say mask equals mask equals stars okay this way do i need space here yeah so now we got uh i guess this is correct but then the password should be safe somewhere right so let's say here we're gonna create a variable password and whatever the user gonna be typing here is gonna enter in on the variable password. Now, uh, password, let's say, if password equals, if password equals Bertela speed, okay, what are we gonna do? Then we're gonna take this, uh, we can take the screenshot directly, but then there's another, uh, there's another Python, I mean, Pyoto GUI option that I would like us to go through. Uh, which is the the confirm. So let's say uh, pyodogui dot confirm. Oh, pyodogui dot confirm. And what do we confirm? Um, uh, how? What are we? What are you gonna type here? Confirm. Let's say. Let's say. Uh, taking screenshot in two seconds. Okay, just an example. And the title of the, of the window is gonna be uh, confirmation. Okay. And do we, do we need something? Um, let's keep it this, uh, yeah, let's keep it this way for a second. So after that, no, no, no. Let's no, let's no, let's have a variable here. Let's call that conf. Okay. Now confirmation. Now say if confirmation because it's gonna be showing okay and cancel. Now let's say if conf equals okay. Now we are going to do the the the, the screenshot. Let's say pyrogui the screenshot. And now for the screenshot, you need to name the, you need to, to uh, cause it's gonna take the screenshot. Now we gotta name, uh, we gotta name the screenshot, okay? So now, uh, let's say it's gonna be screenshot underscore one dot PNG, okay? So we gonna, let's go back here, let's go back again and check this out. So we here, we say, is gonna, are you ready? Yeah, uh, the password is correct. If you click on, if it clicks on continue, then we are going to take a screenshot. Now, odd, yeah, if it's not that, then we don't take a screenshot. But then here, if the password is wrong, if the password is wrong, so here we're gonna say else, we're gonna say pyodegui.alert, uh, say wrong password. Uh, I guess this is it. Yeah, and the screenshot. When you take the screenshot, is gonna be taken and put in the same uh, uh, in the same folder as the Py, the Python, the Python script. So let's go ahead and try this. I hope it works. Otherwise, it's gonna be okay. We're here. Nine plus seven equals sixteen. A screenshot is about to get taken. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I click okay. Until your password, if I say, 
okay okay i click okay wrong password and it stops okay let's go back again here now i go here calculator 9 plus 7 equals 16 a screenshot is about to get taken am i ready yes i'm ready click okay what is the password Bert last speed i click okay a screenshot taken screenshot in two seconds okay all right all right uh now let's check this out in the folder showing explorer uh let me open this the name was screenshot one so when you click cool it's working okay but it's taking this because right when i click at the same time right after i click it takes so it's too fast so what we could do is maybe slow it down so after a screenshot is about to get taken let's wait let's wait off a second here let's sleep for 0.5 second and then if i run this it's gonna it's gonna override this one so let's say this let's uh click whoa it's running wait 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 okay let's say this yes i don't know why it's clicking on call of duty password is bird the last speed click yes okay and now this should be having this should this screenshot should look different than the previous one yeah okay you see this it's working so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you learned something if you liked it i wish i, I would like you to Click the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.